Hello air signs, welcome back to my channel. A big warm welcome to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you are one of those signs or you do have heavy placement of one of those signs, this reading can be for you. Uh, and we're going to be looking at um, what your person is thinking, what they're feeling and what they're going to do. Okay, so it's going to be quite an interesting read and we'll see what the cards can reveal around that um, energy. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. A lot more content is coming your way as well, but I really do appreciate you joining me, guys. It does mean a lot, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, don't forget to pop into the channel sporadically as well because I do have um, a lot more content, as I said. So um, let's get straight into it and see. Let's... Okay, so let's see what there, what this person is... Let's go thinking, okay? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? And what will they do? Okay, let's do first column first. What are they thinking? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work on something. Um, they're thinking about either negotiating on something, they want to talk to you, they want to connect, and they want to start something new. Um, Okay, it's a topic that, it's a topic around support or it's a topic about moving this relationship forward. The arch, the pillar, it's a support structure. So they're thinking a lot about support or they're potentially thinking about how they can support you more. What I love is that they're thinking fairly. Okay, this is a good sign, air signs. The three of pentacles is when we think fairly about things, we put ourselves in other people's shoes. We try to like understand the gist of things okay um even though it may be foreign to us so straight away i get the vibe that someone is thinking fairly and they're being more open-minded okay i love that there's something that they've recently learned about you with that um, ace of pentacles i feel now that pentacle can look like the sun as well and the sun is illumination i'm getting a vibe that there's something they've recently learned about you or something they know that you want or you desire or you know that something a standard of yours in a relationship maybe and what says to me right now is that they're thinking openly and they're thinking how they can reach that level um, towards you but I also feel like they're thinking the long term this is a long-term vision here guys so it's super exciting pentacles is about changes in the physical realm yes um, it's also about that long-term future so there's someone that's been thinking about that more and more um, and because that ace of pentacles is such a wonderful offering I feel like they're either thinking they want to offer that to you or they're thinking about it they're possibly thinking about moving in with you um, you know the three of pentacles can be like um there's adding a different dynamic, maybe another family member or maybe adding someone into the bedroom, for example. They're, they're thinking very openly and I think they want to share this to you. They feel like they can connect with you and they feel like they can approach you about it. And this is a wonderful sign because if you let them talk about it, you'll know where they're at, what they're thinking, what they really want. You know, if, if it comes... If it comes to that and you're very non-judgmental about it, air signs, you're going to get their deepest thoughts here, um, I feel. But what I love is that the Ace of Pentacles is here. There's someone here who considers you a very integral part in their life and they're thinking about you as in a big new chapter. They're either hopeful that this is a big new chapter or they want to support the chapter that you have together. Um, so I like this. This is this is indicating to me there's, there's thought of a future here with you. So wonderful to see. Let's shift over to their emotions. Okay, we've got the Page of Cups with the Magician. They're very torn right now. There's a lot of fickle activity happening around with the Page of um, Page of Cups and the Magician. Now, seeing these two, they're a bit lost. Okay, emotionally, I feel like this person is a little bit lost towards you and towards the situation. Um, their emotions are changing very rapidly. The magician is a fast-paced energy, so they're feeling a lot of emotions right now, some of which are around you and some of which may be due to other things, work, personal dramas, you know, friends, family. Everything gets in the way of life sometimes, and I feel like there's an overwhelming amount of emotion to the, towards this person. And I feel like with their emotions right now, with the Page of Cups, they're emotionally invested, but the Page of Cups can symbolize being unrealistic in a situation. So what I want to say is that they're scared to open up completely because they're scared this is either too good to be true or there's some sort of fantasy attached to it. 
So emotionally, they have a fantasy about you, okay? Emotionally, they're thinking about a fantasy about you, but they're cautious, okay? They're cautious because they're coming up with a magician and the magician is independent, all right? So the way this person is coming across, it's like underneath it all. The page of cups sits underneath, can represent subconscious. So subconsciously, this person has the fantasy of feeling much more than they're actually allowing themselves to feel because they're coming up presenting wise they're coming up as a magician so emotionally this person may seem very headstrong they're not really telling you how they feel they could be leaving you in the dark a little bit air signs they're trying to come across as they're very independent look now for some of you this person maybe they've been away from you for a long time you haven't been able to connect or they've been doing their own thing you know they're really trying to portray this independent emotion but i want to say things are changing very quickly for them and you might see a very loving warm side from them one day the next day you know they're magician they're, they're more cold or they're more i'm doing my own thing i'm independent i'm not reaching out much but other times they're they're dependent on you emotionally so i think you'll you'll, you'll put up with those waves those waves behind him here so these emotional waves i feel like there is they're going through these emotional waves at this stage um and you just sort of have to let, let it happen, okay? It's going to come in cycles. We've got the infinity symbol about their emotions. But it's also a beautiful sign because it could indicate that they're feeling um, like they're bound to you forever, you know, infinity. And not in, a, not in a negative way, air signs. This is in a very hopeful, a very beautiful way. Um, okay, what will they do? Let's shift over to that last, co uh, last column here. We've got the five of cups and two of swords. Okay, in terms of what they're doing, they're not going to do much. In fact, they're going to continue to maybe block or keep keep you at a distance. He keep keep you at a bit of a um keep you at arm's length. Now, the five of cups like dwells on something. Okay, so I'm wondering, air signs, what you've done to upset this person, um, because they're kind of sulking. Okay, <laughs> they're they're upset about something, um, and they keep. Uh, they'll they'll keep focusing on it. So I want to say that they're, they're what they're going to do is that is they're going to focus on something that hasn't been productive in the relationship. Um, you know, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a damp mood, like putting a, a damp on things. So I'm getting a vibe that uh, what I'm seeing here is yeah that they're putting this they're, they're putting this damper on things. That's the vibe that I'm getting very much so, and. I feel like with the two of swords, they're not going to do much. It's sort of like they're watching and waiting or they're focusing on something that was sad, something that happened that was sad between the both of you. Two of swords, it shows that they, they're going to continue to keep their heart protected because that's the kind of energy they're in now. Um, or the two of swords could indicate that they're going to keep their options open, right? As, as, as things are, maybe if this is a more newer relationship, um, it could indicate that this person is going to keep their options open. But it's more the two of swords. Yes, it is a bit of a fork in the road. Um, I think they're undecided, maybe. There could be someone here who wants to stay but wants to go at the same time. But I don't see that act happening. I feel like it's more they're not going to do anything. I actually see a lack of action or them sort of sitting idly by. But they're dwelling on something emotional that's connected to you. Maybe something happened, you shared some bad news, you shared some sad news with them. Uh, maybe something happened in the relationship. They feel a part of the relationship is lost um, and they're fearful of that. You know, they've got cancer energy coming up in terms of their action. Um, I mean, cancer energy can be romantic, but it can also be uh, very emotionally sensitive. So I'm seeing that they might take... They might do something romantic for you, um, but at the same time, it's like a guarded emotional energy. So they'll do something for you, but they'll do it. Um, they'll do it in a cold way. It's very odd, but I'm getting that vibe from them um, as I do this reading. So really interesting reading, air signs. I really appreciate you joining me for this segment. Don't forget to like and, of course, to subscribe to the channel to get updates uh, and notifications for readings for your sign. Otherwise, um, I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. So thanks for tuning in and bye for now.